The Devil's chaotic brother Michael came to town in the latest installment of popular fantasy series Lucifer. Michael's twisted schemes not only tempted God down from his cloud for the first time in the Fox and Netflix shows history, his plans also led to Dan finally seeing Lucifer's true identity. Producer Mike Costa revealed how one of season 5's biggest twists came about. Executive producer Mike Costa has opened up about one of the biggest talking points of the first half of Lucifer's fifth season. In one of the most shocking developments of their latest installment, long, standing office rival Dan Espinosa, played by Kevin Alejandro, finally caught a glimpse of the devil. His discovery left him traumatized, despite the fact Lucifer, Tom Ellis, had simply whipped out his true face to tease the newest member of his family, Charlie, the son of his brother Amina Day, D.B. Woodside. For viewers who may need a refresher, Dan only learned the truth thanks to some sly manipulation from the series' newest villain, Lucifer's devious twin Michael. We will use your email address only for sending you newsletters. Please see our privacy notice for details of your data protection rights. With the secret finally out, Dan was briefly driven to a blind rage and shot Lucifer in his own apartment. Thankfully, his mysterious vulnerability around Chloe Decker, Lauren German, had come to an end and he escaped the altercation unscathed. During an interview with our segment, producer Mike Costa shared why this was the perfect time to build up to Dan's terrifying discovery. He explained, You come in saying, Okay, we're going to meet God this season. You know that will happen. But where will it happen? At the end of Lucifer's catastrophic mid-season finale, Lucifer, Amina Day, Mazakeen, Leslie, and Brandt, and Michael's brawl in the LAPD got so out of hand, the ruler of all creation was forced to step in. Now God, Dennis Haysbert, has finally made himself known. Michael's days on Earth are numbered and Lucifer may finally get the answers he's been looking for all these years. As the series reaches its most pivotal stages, Costa detailed how Dan and Lucifer's confrontation was instrumental in introducing God to the series. He continued, Once we knew that God was showing up in episode 8, that made the rest of the story have to fall in a certain kind of pattern. Video, interview, theory, Michael has to create a situation that causes enough chaos that causes God to show up. And that means that everything that Michael does is to happen in those first eight episodes, and all the chickens have to come home to roost. Not only did Michael force Dan to stumble upon Lucifer's true identity, he also impersonated his brother for a time in an attempt to drive the devil apart from his true love, Chloe Decker. In the final moments of the mid-season finale, the scheming archangel also managed to tempt Mazikin over to his side and spurred on Amina Duel's existential crisis for good measure. Despite leaving the series in complete disarray, the producer revealed Michael's schemes, and God's introduction, will all be in service of the bigger picture. Finally, Costa added, One of the things that we knew was going to happen was that Michael was going to affect Dan seeing Lucifer for who he really is, and using Dan as a tool to attack Lucifer, and so that all had to happen the way it did. Everything is in place for Lucifer's most dramatic install yet, and Netflix have even confirmed a surprise sixth season to ensure the popular series comes to a satisfying conclusion. This article contains affiliate links, we may receive a commission on any sales we generate from it. Learn more.